bandage for a, who's got an infected uterus called a pyometra. Um, we've just made the incision through the skin and we're just about to start to go through the muscle um, to get to uh, where the infected uterus is, which is inside her abdomen. So we've just opened up the abdomen. Um, this is her bladder sitting here, it's quite full. Um, there's a little bit of intestine here, and then over here, this swollen part here is her uterus, uh, which is infected, um, and so this will be full of pus. So we have to do a hysterectomy to remove all of that. So the uterus is very long in a bitch. There. So that's one side of the uterus, um, and here's the other side coming out now. full extent of the infected uterus. So we're just putting some clamps on here where this is the blood supply for the ovary. The ovary's in here, you can see a follicle sitting just here. So there's a lot of very big blood vessels here because of all the inflammation that's going on. So we're going to just put some clamps right across there which will allow us to um, tie off all the blood supply and, uh, and cut through and to detach it. So we're just um, tying off the second side of the uterus or the, or the ovary So we've uh, disconnected the two horns of the uterus and the, and the two ovaries there. Um, and now this is the, where the two come together here. This is the cervix um, and this goes into the vagina down in here. So the last attachment is here that we need to, to remove. You can see there's just some little bruising here around, uh, around this tissue here just because there's such a big blood supply here and these uh, very large vessels here that are supplying all this inflamed tissue. So we've now tied off the, the um, cervix um, and we're just going to cut through this final attachment of the uterus. And that's the end of the hysterectomy part. And now we've just got to tidy this up and um, stitch her up.